Hello everybody, it's me here Cameron Brown and I'm welcome to the Howdy Cameron channel. Today we're going to be making a video talking about a couple of people who I used to go to school with. Um, both of these people have done some very interesting things on Twitter and I thought to myself why not share it with you guys. Now you may be thinking to yourself Cameron you're so sad, how the hell can you still be salty about people who didn't like you, you know, months and months ago. Well I'm not salty, I'm just making this video because I think it'd be funny to make. Uh, you know I follow one of these people because I know him through mutual friends uh, and also uh, he retweeted something uh, which allowed me to see you know someone else I used to go to school with their tweet as well if they're watching this video ha 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 guess what I'm going to respect your privacy so you can't take down the video I, I think the people who are watching this video will know that I'm talking about them and yes I 100% stand by everything I say and I do not care if you get offended by it or not get hate on this video or whatever. I genuinely don't care. Um, I'm making this video about you too, but I'm not like sharing your name or anything personal at all just because I, I want to be a nice guy. Okay, before this video starts, smash like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you're new today. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. So obviously after results day, I was curious to see what other people from my school got. The average A-level results from my school were not particularly great. A lot of people did not get into their firm choice of university. And someone who well, I was very surprised by actually um, tweeted saying that he got into Oxford Uni. And I was like thinking to myself, holy crap, this guy got into Oxford. And when I thought about it, I initially thought it was a joke. I thought there's no way this guy got into Oxford. He's clearly memeing about on Twitter. But then I thought to myself, how sad must you be to like make a joke about getting into a good uni like how sad must you be and because of that I thought to myself no this guy's not that sad surely he didn't lie about getting into uni I was also a little bit confused because when I opened this tweet I posted a photo a UCAS photo obviously it's not his it was doctored or whatever but it is said that he got into a course effectively at Oxford so I was just thinking to myself there's no way this guy either used inspect element or went out of his way to find an image that shows him to have gotten to Oxford Uni, like there's no way he's that sad. Uh, I remember I opened the tweet and someone replied, some of the people who went to my school, saying, oh, you pulled that physics grade out of nowhere and stuff like that. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, I think this guy might have actually got into Oxford because I didn't expect him to lie about it. I didn't expect him to try and make a joke out of it. Like how sad would you be to do that? Like, I genuinely can't fathom that. And the only A-level uh, subject that he did that I was in was physics. And during physics, he was never good at it. He was quite bad at physics, but I didn't know how good he was at the other two subjects. So what I genuinely thought happened is he did really well in his other two subjects. And with physics, he just got a pass. He did surprisingly well in it. He cracked down on the subject when he needed to. But no, uh, it was a joke. He didn't actually get into Oxford. He just tweeted saying he did. Hilarious joke, I know. But this person actually retweeted someone else's tweet, uh, a tweet from a girl that really, really doesn't like me. And when I read this goddamn tweet, oh, oh my God, it made me cringe so hard. Uh, something I've noticed is this guy who I talked about lying about getting into Oxford or making a joke out of it. He actually retweeted a tweet from a day before results day saying retweet in five seconds or your results are going to look like this. And then they uh, displayed some bad results so clearly this guy hmm yeah he must have been making a joke of all oh, guys i got in touch that only joking but deep down he's very very depressed about it so the tweet reads some people are just pure shit, aren't they twitter do your thing so you may be thinking to yourself okay what did this horrible person do so pretty much uh, this girl from my school uh she's on tinder right she's clearly trying to get some dick which i i can't hold anything against her for I don't know what to say. She was on the phone, as it appears, with this screenshot at four in the morning. So clearly her life is in order. <laughs> and someone called Cameron. I remember when I opened it, I didn't care. But then it said Cameron. And I was like thinking to myself, what? There's more than one person in the world called Cameron? And I was kind of shocked by that. But pretty much this guy messages this girl saying, how much do you weigh? Spelling way wrong. Clearly this guy is an idiot. And then this girl replies saying, Cameron, I'm not going to lie. That's a shitty thing to ask. And even Schmitter first impression. This is a dating platform, right? If someone's going to be mean to you and you're on this goddamn platform just to date, why would you bother even replying to them? Nor being like 
smart with them. Like, why would you care to do so? Straight off the bat, if you reply to something like that and try and be cocky, like, she, she was a little bit offended. Let, let's face it, guys. Let's just say she was a little bit offended. And there's nothing wrong with that. So, her bio read, What I lack in height, I make up for in personality, Derby slash Leeds. Now, I just want to start by saying, I don't know this girl particularly well, but the personality that she's demonstrated to me makes me heavily disagree with this statement. Heavily. She, she hates me. <laughs> I feel like she's going to see this video. It's going to be hilarious if she does. And then, Big Man Cameron replies to her, her bio saying, What you lack in height, you make up for in stone. Guys, that's a funny joke, because stone, weight fantastic i just don't get why you reply to this guy you can't use the argument of having a thick skin which she later does in replies to her friends saying that this guy's trash like you can't say that when you've gone out of your way to reply to him so you've clearly been offended by it and then on top of that you've published the screenshots on twitter and you've tried to aggregate you know people to be outraged by it like you are doing this all for attention just because you are not thick-skinned this girl replies saying, Oh, hun, calling me fat on Tinder doesn't actually achieve anything other than making you look like a dickhead. X. Wow, guys. She is so sleek and so smart. A little bit of a kiss. Oh, so sarcastic. Did you need an ego boost or did you wake up this morning just wanting to be a prick? Probably pull more than you anyway. Wow. XX. Now, I just want to say this straight off the bat. This girl is not particularly strong, so I doubt she pulls as much weight as Cameron could, so I would like to disagree with this. I'm not gonna say that's true or false, I don't I don't really care, and I'm not here just to insult this girl, but she clearly is extremely offended by what Big Cameron said, which is fine, you can be offended by stuff like this, but it's just the fact that, like, she tries to argue that she wasn't offended, that's kind of funny, and then Cameron replies saying, hun, just because you've kissed a Big Mac hundreds of times doesn't mean a pull. So this is the image of Cameron, uh, as you can see, He's a very cool guy, uh, University of Leeds, straight man, thank god, one kilometre away, that is crazy. The main funny thing that I saw was this girl's reply to other people's replies. Now this got 400 likes, so clearly she got a little bit of a endorphin flow after she saw the performance of this media tweet. A guy who went to my school, straight man, says it all, vomit emoji. Okay, I get that, if you have a bio on Instagram and it says straight man, Oh, that's that's a bit weird. I mean, I think in my bio on my second Instagram account, I'm bi or gay. I don't know which one. I'm both. Shut up. But on a real note, I don't think you can really criticise him for that because it's literally Tinder. If you've ever actually been on Tinder, I haven't, but I've seen other people on Tinder. If you do not specify that you're straight, you're going to get the black big black dick community they're gonna all come for you you can have the white dick community they're all gonna come for you even if you are straight and you're on tinder for girls like they're gonna sneak past so reasonably i can get why cameron put straight man and then this is someone <laughs> else from my school this is how, how, how they get everyone to hate me they already hate me anyway that's actually beyond vile i hope you are okay oh my god someone called my girl fat oh god I hope she's okay. And then this girl replies, Luckily, I'm a bad bitch. And he cannot kill me. Just here to warn other girls away. Thank you, baby. I'm going to click X to doubt hugely. Okay, no, you're not a bad bitch. You're, that's just a facade. You were offended by what Big Cameron said. And that, that's it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Cameron's a big, big A-class dickhead. Like me. But come on, man. You can't say you're a bad bitch who doesn't care when you literally are taking multiple screenshots of the conversation you're talking to this guy who is literally just trying to hate on you and just trying to get a laugh out of you and then you're blasting him on twitter you clearly goddamn care yikes ignore him you're gorgeous hun good job i have thick skin meh okay right i'm gonna end this video here this video is probably going to get me in a lot of trouble, which is not epic at all. But it's okay, because I have a thick skin, and I'm going to be able to deal with the hate. Um, on a real note, I just think it's so stupid how certain people I know from school just get offended by the littlest things. And obviously, a lot of people got offended by me. Uh, this girl, I know for a fact, hates me just because um, of my YouTube channel. That's the main reason why she hated me. I think she called me misogynistic because of my videos. And I'm here thinking to myself... How am I goddamn misogynistic? And I honestly think, and this is my opinion, 
calling someone misogynistic is worse because, you know, I'm not misogynistic than me just merely making fun of you. Like, I think that's actually better, me just making fun of this girl rather than her calling me misogynistic when I'm not. Because I feel like one's slander and the other one's comedy. So I feel like there is a bit of a difference. So just because of that, I think it justifies it. With the guy who said that he got into Oxford as a joke, he's just the epitome of having a sad life. So I just don't get it. You know, I just don't get why people would bother tweeting stuff like that. Like, why would you lie about getting into an Oxford uni? Like, how is that funny? Like, I just I just don't get it. On a real note, I hope these two people are happy. I hope that their lives are going good. I genuinely have no ill you know, intention with this video. If they do watch it, don't take it too deeply. But if you want to take it deeply, your boy does boxing, so I'll knock you out. Oh no, I can't do that with girls. If you're a man, it's okay. I can do my boxing and then, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. It's me here, Cameron, and I'm out now.